hello lolas welcome back to my channel guys guys if you're new to this channel please make sure you smash that subscribe button click the bell to be a part of the notification squad make sure you're following me on missrenesmithbabies.com and also on instagram which is Miss Randy Smith as well. Um, <clears throat> mm -mm 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 -mm. So I am here with baby Phoenix. And you guys don't get to see me that much with my toddlers. Or really you guys haven't seen me much with the babies at all. I've been so busy. Um, a good busy. Working on um, the latest prototypes that I'm doing that you guys have seen a lot of I'm sure I've probably got on your nerves already and I'm just getting started with photos <laughs> so um one so basically um this is so the first prototype that I opportunity that I had was Genesis um which was a silicone baby um it was um sorry i got distracted in playing in this here but what was i saying yeah um genesis which was a silicone baby um by uh doris harnbogen i did that when um and it was kind of like a second edition type thing so it was basically you know to kind of just show you guys what the baby would look like um in different skin tones i guess or whatever and then um which that was a premium baby and um every baby i i paint not every baby that i paint but a lot of the babies like so far the few um the few prototypes that i've done has been um has a story so the Genesis is one that I was going to paint when I first tried to decided I wanted to try to paint silicone um, that was a kit the the first edition was the kit that I w was had reached out to try to paint as a practice kit because of the price range and so I thought it was just iconic for me to um, paint you know the silicone the uh prototype for that one because it will also give other that the price range of that kit gives other people you know options for practice babies because it's like sometimes people just don't want to practice well i know i didn't i want to practice on a two thousand dollar kit you know what i mean and i didn't want to just do a head i wanted to do the full baby but I end up the first silicone baby that I ever painted was um, Serena, or was that Serena? Serena by Christina Vassal. So I paint. I I bought. She had a special, and I think it was like six hundred dollars or eight hundred dollars, nine hundred dollars, something like that. It was under a thousand dollars, and I bought that one. And that's actually, I still have that one here, and it will remain. His hair is shedding a lot. But um, it's human hair. I have to get all this hair up when I get done. Um, I don't usually use human hair in my babies. Um, but he's such a big toddler. I decided, yeah, I wanted him to have a head full of hair. So, um. We went with that, but basically I'm just gonna just maybe just put it in a few pigtails, uh, plaits, just to not have it all over the place so he don't look like a girl. I almost made him a girl at one point. Let me see. He probably would be a cute girl. Like, but I can't unsee him as a boy. What you guys think? I don't know how I would, how would I make him a girl? 
He is just like, I think because I painted him to be a boy, he is just a boy to me. But anyway, I'm not going to change Phoenix to a girl. Don't worry about that. Let me put him in a, um, another shirt for now. But yeah, anyway, and then um, Cody Bear, Cody Bear, Cody Bear, Cody Bear. So um, it was funny because when the real Cody actually um, was born, it was close to around the time when my my daughter was pregnant and stuff like that and i reached out to or was it cody i think so but i reached out to his grandma and i was like you need to get somebody to sculpt this baby <laughs> but i'm sure everybody was saying that but i was saying when it, when he was like baby but anyway when i seen the sculpt i was in love with the clay version of that sculpt and um I just I said oh my gosh so that one I just had to do the prototype on that one <laughs> I did I love I love Cody so a lot of you guys might be saying well why are you selling your Cody bear um prototype so to me Cody bear was my first real experience of vinyl prototype he was my first prototype to me and when I say first prototype, it's not take away from the first experience, but it was really, it really put me in that scenario of how prototypes really work and run. And it was like, I was so nervous about, you know, not getting it right. And, um, but I just, I really, 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 really love the outcome of, um, of Cody Bear but one of my customers I mean well a couple of my customers did reach out but one of my customers in particular that's been collecting from me since I started even selling when I first started selling my practice pieces at $75 and $150 this particular customer has been there from the start and she was like I would love to get Cody if you sell Cody and not only that she also you know she made a good point she was like it's your first prototype she was like um well she said I wasn't able to get the first prototype which was Genesis and then she was like this is your first you know your first big prototype and um she was like I really would love to see a real fan get you know get it even if it's not her because you know, I guess a lot of people auction them off and I didn't, I didn't auction. I didn't want to do an auction. I did think about it, but I just, I didn't. And, um, I decided I'm going to paint me another one that's going to be a, a forever baby in my collection, um, of different skin tone, different look, different hair, different might even be different gender. I'm kind of second guessing myself on that now because I think I'm going to probably still have it as a boy. I was going to do it as a girl, but I, I think I'm going to keep it as a boy because I'm a boy, boy mom for the most part. I have been collecting more girls lately, but I am normally just more drawn to boys. Um, so I decided to go ahead and sell him. To her because she was one of the first people to reach out to me which i well give her the first opportunity and and so i i did and of course she 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 did get him so he's leaving <laughs> but the good thing is i will have another one i will share with you guys and you guys will see a lot more um one of the things that's very um one of the little weird things about me is once I sell a baby, if baby, even if the baby's on layaway or anything like that, he is such a big boy. I love, 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 love. Let me take his tag off. This is a 24 month, by the way, guys, um, in Carter's that he is wearing. Um, this is Limb by Bonnie Brown. So, um, if you guys don't know, but, um, one of the things about me, if a baby is on layaway or it's not my baby, um, there was a baby, sometimes a few of the babies are like, you know, customers that, you know, are, I don't know how to explain it, but 
I might interact with their baby a little bit more than others, but I typically won't um won't continue to like play with the baby, show the babies and stuff because you know, the baby is technically not my baby anymore and I just like to keep it the way it is when I sell it. So I, you know, not that nothing's going to happen if I dress the baby or something like that, but you get what I'm saying. I just, you know, I just tend not to bother with it. So that's why you hadn't seen much, but I am going to try to take a few more photos um, only because I never put him in the outfit that he has that's just like the real Cody. Like, I was so excited and so pumped about this. And it was supposed to be the main photo shoot was him wearing the same outfit as the real Cody on the same little push car buggy thing. And I just, I never got to it. Um, just so much stuff with all the customs and stuff like that. I just never got to it. But I want to take at least a few photos before he leaves um like that and I, I think his mom definitely will appreciate seeing him like that as well um so but yeah I don't sometimes customers might feel like I'm you know showing more more love to particular babies than others but it's sometimes it just depends on the circumstance or timing like right now i'm really on bar time and i'm looking at paint dripping <laughs> and i'm about to go crazy i want to just stop the video and go um bother it but i'm not um but i'm i am <clears throat> i'm on really bar time because <clears throat> i'm like i said i'm i'm finishing up the last prototype so anyway, so let me, and also let me, let me say what else about, um, and it's probably going to be a long video, but the other thing is about Cody is that it also is a, something that some of you guys may not know, um, uh, Laura Tuta Ross, um, which is a very big time sculptor, um, I actually, she was actually the first Reborn I ever had in my collection. The very first Reborn I ever collected was Walter by Laura Tuzera. So, um, how cool is that? So, that was the first sculpt that I actually got to see of Reborns in person. And the first one that I actually, I think I was, no, was that? I don't know. That might have been Audrey Story. It might have been Laura Tuzera. I can't remember. But anyway, so yeah, so she was one of the first sculptors that I had in my collection. So that was really nice. So that's that's another point. Y'all know I'm all sentimental. I'm just going down the the the, the history here. And then you guys all know it's no secret that I am such a huge fan of Claire Teller and um so, and I've never in a million years thought that I would ever paint for her um, as a prototype artist. Um, so, this is another um, big defining moment in my painting career, <laughs> if you want to call it that. Um, so, you know, although people may... Um, think I'm weird or corny or over the top or being dramatic. Um, all of these opportunities have meant something to me and I thank God for it. Um, I know that I am goofy and I know that I can be very direct and I know I may come across as um, someone that may not have feelings. <laughs> But I do, and I'm a very emotional person to a certain extent, and so it it's a big deal for me. So I've I've been really thankful, um, and it's not that it's something that just fell into my lap. It's 
I've worked hard for these moments and I'm still working hard and I'm still a work in progress. I will never proclaim to be perfect or more than I am. Um, I am not, you know, a professional photographer. I'm not great. I don't do edits. I'm not, you know, this superwoman type, you know, or no master artist type thing. I'm just going, you know, step by step and taking this journey of growth. And it's just, you know, a blessing to be able to have the opportunities along the way. Um, you know, I'm not out here trying to fight people for, you know, prototype opportunities. I'm not, you know, jumping in every contest, trying to, you know, be a prototype artist. I really prefer that sculptors contact me if, you know, if they, um, they like my work and they think I will do a good job um, marketing their kit. Um, I don't know if that's still the end goal with prototypes anymore, but when I first started collecting, that was what I thought, you know, the prototype artist was for. It was to market the kit, to show it in its best light, to highlight the good points about the kit and allow co other collectors to see what they will look like with paint on them while the sculptor sculpt and let them um you know just give different versions of the kit out there so that collectors and artists can see if they they want to you know put their spin on it um i don't know if that's you know still the the purpose of prototypes for some people or not but that's you know so I prefer if people just actually choose me but also I, I know I'm a picky painter and I can't I won't like necessarily paint something that I don't love oh my god like I love this boy um so yeah but that's between me and the sculptor if I decide not to or if I decide to do it then you guys will see it but yeah, I'm I'm just not out here just trying to paint every prototype that I can paint just to say I painted a prototype. I think so far I've really um, had ones that I actually enjoy painting. So, so now I'm on prototype number three, which is pretty cool. So anyway, look at Phoenix. Oh my God, like guys, you guys have no idea. Like, he is like my real boy. Like, I don't know why, but I just love him so much. Your hair smells good. <laughs> I just love him so much. Like, he is downstairs, he sits in a high chair, and my guy even is like, not bothered by him. I thought he was gonna be like, are you usually gonna move that or not? But he actually look at him and laugh. He's sitting there and then, you know, he keep wanting to take his bowl of cereal throw it out because it's fake cereal that um Tanya made for me um brown sugar curtis is her name um and he keep thinking it's real and he wants to he's he's very anal when ocd when it comes to clean i shouldn't say anal but ocd when it comes to cleaning and stuff so he um <laughs> he keep picking it up and then be like oh and it's so funny. I just love it. But anyway, guys, like I said, I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the chat. I know I just kind of rumbled. And just look forward to Baby Abby by Claire Taylor that's coming up next. So we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.